kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Hockey. One day, the kitty cats decided to play ice hockey. So, we'll have Dart be the goalie, and I'm going to be center. I'll be a defender cat. And I'll probably only be in the way. <gasps> Why would you say that, dear? I'm not good at playing team sports. Remember when we played soccer? <laughs> hey, pudding, catch! <laughs> wow, thank you! And remember when I tried volleyball? We need to play as well. Pudding, you have to pass the ball to one of us. I'm perfectly sure that this time Pudding will play the game very well. I'll come with you and cheer really loud like a cheerleader. <gasps> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Don't even try to play. My darling kitten, don't be so sad. <laughs> Come on, remember you're a really great chess player, just like your mom. We are a two-cat chess team. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Hey! I think from now on, I should only play sports I feel confident at. Wow, those are some amazing reflexes. You'd be a perfect goalie, Pudding. I have a really good idea. Pudding took the place of goalie, and Dart was happy, as he wanted to chase the puck anyway. Ah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thanks, guys. I feel really confident as the goalie, too. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone has a place on a team. You just have to find the spot that feels right for you. Following instructions. One day, Grandma was cleaning out a room for the kittens to have sleepovers at her house. Mom, 
My dear lovely kittens, your new bedroom is virtually ready. All that's left is to build your beds. They'll be so comfy. Well, that is, as soon as I figure out how to assemble them. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Where's the pirate ship you bought for us, Daddy? Ahoy, here it is. But I think I left the instruction manual in the trunk. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of parts in that one. It should take a long time. Piece of cake. We'll make the pirate ship super quick. And then we can go down and sail it on your pond. Wonderful. And while all of you are busy assembling ships and beds, I will go cook our dinner. Hey, Pudding, can you tell me what this says? Uh... Take part A and connect it with part B. Then insert part C straight into part D. Hmm? I didn't understand a single word of that. <laughs> we can put the ship together using our imagination. Imagine that this is part of the pirate ship's deck. This looks like the steering wheel. And right here is the pirate flag. The kittens are sure that they can build a great ship. Aww. I guess we need the instructions after all. I'll go and get them out of the trash bin. But those instructions are so long. I'll be 100 years old before I'm done with them. I think we should try being logical. Meaning what? I'll explain. There's a lot of these small planks. They probably form the deck. Huh. It's only logical, right? They probably go up on top of these bow-shaped parts. That's logical too, isn't it? Doesn't, Doesn't look logical. logical. So, I guess it's time to get the instructions out of the trash bin. All right. All right. in this garbage can? I sorted them into the recycling bins so the garbage men could cart them off. No! no! Oh, why'd I have to throw the instructions out? Oh, we'll never be able to find them now. Oh, it wouldn't be with the glass recycling. Instructions are made of paper. It should be in with the paper recycling, which hasn't been emptied out yet. Thank you very much, Grandma. This time around, the kitty cats did everything just as the instructions told them to. It still didn't work with the instructions. What's going on? I have a really good idea. Let's ask Daddy to help us put the pirate ship together. Daddy was still hard at work assembling the kittens' beds. <laughs> Oh. It looks like Daddy needs just as much help as us. Daddy, are you sure you're following the instructions? Well, I did look them over. Uh, I just laid them aside. Uh, I thought I could build it on my own. So, uh, mast and uh, anchor and uh, steering wheel. Oh, kitten dears, may I have a look at your instruction manual? Well, I figured out the problem. You got your instructions mixed up somehow. Right here are the pirate ship instructions, and here are the ones for the beds. Well, look at that. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think you'll have any more problems now. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, It can be fun imagining or trying to figure out things for yourself. Following the instructions usually makes the job much easier. A night in a forest. One day, Mommy and Daddy woke the kittens up very early in the morning. Time to rise and shine, kittens. Today we're driving to a big nature reserve where we're camping out tonight. Camping? For real? Are we sleeping in a tent? Will we cook on a campfire? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The nature reserve had special spots for camping. Well, no free spots here. Let's drive a bit further. Oh, looks like this one's full as well. 
After driving around the nature reserve for an hour, Daddy still couldn't find a free camping spot. Are we ever going to get there? I'm so tired. Me too, and I'm very hungry. And Aww. I'm thirsty. Try to be patient, kittens. We'll drive a bit further into the reserve and find a perfectly lovely campsite. The trees are whizzing by really fast. Uh, well, the trees have stopped whizzing. We'll be stuck here for the rest of our lives. Now, don't give up, kittens. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> I'll go and gather some firewood while you help your father with putting the tent up. I think I forgot to pack the pegs for the tent. We need them to hold the tent in place. If the tent won't work, will we have to just sleep out on the cold, hard ground? What if it rains? <gasps> then we can all sleep in the car. Uh, uh, It'd be pretty cramped. Uh, 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 yeah, but in the car, at least we'd be safe from all the scary forest creatures. There's lots of mosquitoes around, too. <laughs> nope, I do not want to spend the night in these woods. Neither do I. Daddy, please get Mom. We want to go home. Yeah, home isn't full of big mosquitoes. Or other scary forest beasts. Ah, relax, kittens. We're in a special nature reserve. No scary creatures live in this forest. Ah. 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 A scary forest creature! <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> kittens, your scary forest creature is Mommy. <laughs> Goodness, Daddy's so very funny. I have been gathering dry twigs for our campfire. They weren't easy to find, but I kept on till I found them. Mommy just delivered a solution to our little tent problem. I've got a really good idea. We should all help fix the tent together and we'll have a super night sleeping in the woods. Soon, the kittens forgot all about their fears and started to have a lovely time in the outdoors. Um. Kittens, it's time for bed. Good night, Good night Mommy. Good night, Good night kittens. kittens. Move over a bit. Ah, uh, there are mosquitoes in here. And they are hungry for us creatures. They're pretty big, too. Good thing I brought the anti-scary forest creature spray. <laughs> ah. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow. Once the kittens settled down and dug in to help out, they had a wonderful time camping. Forgive and forget. One day, the kittens decided to build a model of their home. Candy drew a pretty diagram of the house. Kittens, that's a wonderful idea. I can sew little doll versions of the family, and they can live in the little model house. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Mommy and Candy went to the store to get some colored paper. Right, come along. I'll find you some cardboard, some glue, and scissors. Cookie and Pudding worked on the frame of the house following Candy's diagram. My half of the model's done, and it's awesome. All that's left is to cover it with colored paper. Oh. No, Cookie. <coughs> you just ruined a very important part. Well, would you like to crush part of my half of the model? That'd be kind of fair, right? Sure, all right. Huh? Why'd you have to break my roof? That's way harder to fix than the part I broke off yours. Uh, how about you cut off one of the walls of mine? All right. Oops. 
the... All right, now do I get to destroy your half of the house model? No. Just let me think for a minute. I'll find a way to make it up to you. Cookie offered pudding his favorite, tomato juice. So now are we even? <sighs> I don't think so. I don't really like tomato juice. I like apple juice much better. Then I gave up my juice for nothing at all? Uh, well, do you think we'd be even if I gave you my candy? Ah, it's a deal. I like candy very much. Let's go finish the house. Just wait a minute. Your half of the model is still fine, and plus, you got the candy. My house half is just rubble. All I got was that juice I don't even like the flavor of. No fair. <laughs> well, then what if I gave you my ship? But my ship's really awesome. It's way cooler than half of a model. What if I trade my magnifying glass to you? But wait, I love my magnifying glass so much. I could give you something besides that, or do something for you instead. Cookie and Pudding tried making it up to each other by giving gifts and doing nice things. Some great colored paper. <gasps> Why'd you splash paint on my drawing of the house? I worked really hard making that. We're sorry. We apologize. Is there anything we can do for you to make it up? If you want, you can have my ship. My magnifying glass, too. I can push you on a swing for a long time. And then I can give you my dessert. This way we could really make it up to you. All right, stop, stop, stop. If someone you know does something wrong by mistake, you just need to work to fix that. Isn't that right, Candy? Yes, that's right. I have a really good idea. Pudding and Cookie, I don't want you to do anything. You had me the second you said you're sorry. I forgive you. Oh, wow, that was simple. Pudding, I absolutely forgive you. <laughs> I absolutely forgive you too, Cookie. Well done. We'll work up a nice new diagram and build another house. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! And that's how the kitty cats realize that they have to forgive each other for making mistakes so everyone in the little house could live happily and help each other. Renovations. One day, Mommy and Daddy brought home some wallpaper and buckets of paint. Daddy, what are you doing with all those things? Daddy and I have decided we're going to finish the attic. We'll make it all nice and cozy. The attic? Really? You mean that we're going to have a new room in the house? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey, we can use the attic room for chess tournaments! Dance parties! Oh, we can play so many games up there! <laughs> Come on, let's go take a look at the new room! <laughs> It's still the same as before. Cookie, we only just started. First we figure out the plans, then we prepare them. I suggest we bring everything up from the basement so we don't have to run up and down the stairs every time. That's excellent thinking, darling. Little ones, remember to be careful when you go back down the stairs. It looks like we won't have a new room for a long time. Let's help Mommy and Daddy put up the wallpaper. If we hurry, we can do it all before they get back upstairs. Yeah, let's. It doesn't look very hard at all. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Huh? <laughs> well, you're on a roll. Let me give you some help with that. There! It's not rolled up anymore. It's flat. Now we can stick it to the wall. Uh, oh! Whoa! I accidentally splashed this glue everywhere, and now the floor's been wallpapered. Maybe I can pull some of it up? Oh! Whoa! Uh. Whoa! Whoa! Uh. These silly, sticky things are way more trouble than they're worth. Oh. What if we just used paint on the walls? Yeah, let's. I'm pretty sure we could handle that. Oh. What is happening up here? Mommy, Daddy, we're so sorry. We just thought that we could help speed everything up. We just really wanted to help out. But it really didn't turn out that great. <laughs> Thank you for trying to help, my darlings. But you know, renovations are really tricky. All the preparation is hard, even for us grown-ups. Mommy and I know this very well. It's not our first renovation. I've got a really good idea. If you can teach us how to do all of this, then we can help you. That's a good idea, Candy. But first, you need renovations of your own. Huh? You're all taking a bath right now. After their bath, the kittens help their parents to renovate the attic. <laughs> Look at that! I thought it was going to take much longer to get all this done. It's all thanks to our students here. Because of your help, we finished much sooner than we expected. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hmm, but it still sort of feels like there's something missing. Oh, and what's that, oh? darling? Oh. Daddy messed up the wallpaper! Oh no. Now I know what it still needs. Some lovely kitty cat oh. paw prints. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the kittens help their parents with renovations and turn the attic into a cozy room for the whole family. Cookie takes a break. One day, Daddy made an exciting announcement. My kittens, today we're visiting an aquarium. We'll see all kinds of fish and octopuses. So but first, you need to pick your train track up off of the floor. In case it causes a toy train kitten collision. <laughs> we'll clean up now. Sounds wonderful. And Daddy will buy our aquarium tickets online. We built such a gigantic train track that it'll take us forever to put it away. Well, we'd better get started then. <laughs> Tidying up wasn't Cookie's favorite thing to do. Uh, uh, uh. Cookie, can you put the controller in the box? It's too heavy for me. Uh, uh, uh. Cookie, did you drop that heavy train switch on your paw? Uh, yes, ow, yes. Dropped it right on my paw. Oh, it hurts so much. I guess I can't help tidy up. Right, when you injure your paw, you really should go lie down. However, just lying there and waiting was pretty boring. Cookie! Ouchie! Get off your paw or it'll never oh. get better. But I'm thirsty. I'll get you something to drink. And if you need something else, just tell us and we'll help you. Cookie started to rather like that having a sore paw made everyone help him out. He started calling pudding and candy for every little thing. I'd love to have an apple. Uh, on second thought, I'd love a pear more. Then Puss in Boots asked the princess. Cookie, are you feeling any better? 
No, my paw's still hurting. Shouldn't we tell Mommy? We shouldn't bother Mommy about one little sore paw. What if she sends me off to the hospital? <laughs> <sighs> should put some ice on your paw. Please don't do that. I'd probably catch a cold from all the ice. Achoo. If we had a time machine, we could use it to return to earlier. Mm. And keep Cookie mm. from hurting his oh. paw. Oh. Ah. Ah. But there's no such thing as a time machine. I'm sure my paw will get better on its own, but not yet. Hey, I think some cartoons would really help. Look, kittens, I just printed out our tickets to the aquarium. Ah! Oh! Uh. Daddy! Ah, goodness, looks like dear old Daddy just had a major train collision. The bruise isn't too bad, but Daddy cannot drive anywhere today. Now, kittens, why didn't you clean up like we asked you to? We were cleaning, but Cookie dropped the control box right on his paw. Then he started caring for Cookie instead. Um, to be honest, the box didn't really fall on my paw. Um, and my paw didn't really hurt at all. But why did you tell us that it was hurting? Well, at first it was because I really didn't want to help clean up, but then I really liked it that you were taking such good care of me. It's your fault we can't go to the aquarium today because Daddy's hurt his leg on the train set. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. We're still going to go. I can drive us all there. And Cookie won't be doing anything like that again, will you, Cookie? I won't. Never again. I promise. I'm sorry, Daddy. I know what to do. Before we leave, we should clean up the rest of the railroad tracks so no one else gets injured. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie was a good kitten, to tell the truth. And he realized it's best to help out and not just think about yourself. Kittens on Time. One day, Cookie, Pudding, Candy, and Mustard were playing on the playground. I'm putting on a Cinderella play for my mommy's birthday. Of course, I'll play Cinderella. But would you guys play all the other parts? I can play the prince, and Pudding can play the king. Mm. Candy can be the fairy godmother, <laughs> and Mustard can be the evil stepmother. <laughs> yeah, I can do that, sure. We also need a place to rehearse. That's no problem. We can have the rehearsals at our tree house. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! It wasn't very long until the play needed to be ready for Cupcake's mom's birthday, so the kittens worked very hard getting their costumes ready. Just as planned, they hurried to the treehouse in the morning to start rehearsals. Where's Cupcake, huh? I got up very early to be here. I'm sorry. I switched my alarm off so I didn't get up on time. everyone. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's lunchtime. I'm going home. We'll just rehearse without the evil stepmother. But I've only memorized the first part of the play, the evil stepmother part. So we can just start again tomorrow. <sighs> the next morning, Cupcake was late again. I just can't seem to wake up on time. Plus, I'm also running late to my dance class. We'll just have to rehearse fast then. Cinderella, you have to bake a dress, scrub the beans, and sew the buttons on the stove. What? I think you mixed some things up there. Well, Ooh. welcome to the fancy royal ball. Did somebody Ooh. order one glass slipper? That comes later. You've all got to learn your parts better. We'll try to rehearse again tomorrow, all right? I have to get to my dance class. Bye. <laughs> But the next morning, Cupcake was late yet again. And they only had one rehearsal left before her mom's birthday. Uh, 
Uh, Kindly stuff uh, your dainty foot in this slipper. No, the slipper part's at the end. How can we perform this play if none of you learn your parts right? But you're always late, Cupcake. We can never rehearse our parts because we're waiting for you. Oh, yes, you're right. I just don't know how I'll ever wake up on time. Maybe you should stay awake all night. Then Cupcake would end up falling asleep right on stage. <sighs> Uh, maybe you should get the biggest alarm clock ever! I mean, super big! <sighs> Where would we ever get an alarm clock that big? I have a really good idea! Cupcake needs to put her alarm clock away from her bed. That way she won't switch it off. If Cupcake's trying to get the alarm clock way up there, she'll wake up for sure. Great idea. That's what I'll do. The next morning, the kittens were surprised. Well, good morning, everybody. I've been waiting for you to rehearse. And that day, everyone got a chance to memorize and rehearse their lines. <laughs> My lady, you're not leaving yet. I'm afraid I must be going now. But perhaps we'll meet again someday. And I promise that I won't be late. Happy birthday! Thank you, everyone. You were just amazing. But my cupcake is such a sleepyhead. How on earth did you get all of this work done? Thanks to the kitty cats, I'm not a sleepyhead anymore, Mommy. They helped me learn to get up on time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cupcake's mom loved the surprise. And Cupcake has been on time ever since. Kitty cats back in time. One day, Grandpa and the kittens set out to explore a cave. Long ago in prehistoric times, ancient cats didn't build houses like us. Instead, they lived in caves, just like this one. Ah! <laughs> Don't you worry. We've got flashlights and helmets to protect our heads. They're really strong. Yay, this is amazing. We look like real cave explorers. <laughs> so, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The cave turned out to be quite dark but very exciting. Hey, hey! Hi! <laughs> Grandpa, will you tell us about the ancient cats? Sure. They lived in caves just like this one. They wore simple clothes. And they didn't have flashlights or electricity or central heating, so they would gather around fires. <laughs> <laughs> I've wanted to find traces of ancient cats since I was small, but I never could find any. Oh! <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh, oh. It's a shame that Grandpa never found what he always dreamed he would. Hey, you guys, why don't we help him? How? How? Grandpa! What, Cookie? Look here, I just found some paw prints. Is it possible ancient cats could have left these? <laughs> Cookie, these are your own footprints. Huh, you're right. What other kinds of things did ancient cats leave behind? Well, I suppose it could be anything really, Cookie. Not just footprints, but objects and paintings on the cave walls sometimes. Mm. Uh, my grandpa, I think I found an ancient candy wrapper. An ancient cat must have dropped it a long time ago, like maybe a hundred gajillion and sixty-five years. <laughs> Don't think that's ancient. Ancient cats only ate things like mushrooms, berries, and fish. They didn't have any candy back then. Oh, no? Let's pick up the wrapper in any case. Look what I found! I think an ancient cat must have drawn this picture. It's a wall painting like you said they used to make. Hmm, that's interesting. It's a really wonderful drawing. But it wasn't painted by any ancient cats. But how can you tell that it's not? There's one detail that gives it away. There were no airplanes back then. Aww. Please don't feel bad, kittens. Thank you for trying to help me find the ancient cat traces I've always dreamt of. Hmm? Hello? Lunch is ready. Please head back home. All right. Be back soon. That was your mommy telling us it's time to head home. She has your lunch ready. <laughs> Oh, there's more than one path. Which one do we need to take? Oh, oh 
Oh, no. We're all lost in here. <laughs> hmm. Don't you worry, Pudding. We'll figure out how to handle this problem. I have a really good idea. Remember Cookie's footprints? We can follow our footprints back. Good thinking, Candy. You're a real cave explorer. Grandpa and the kittens headed to the cave's exit. I'm sorry you didn't find any evidence of ancient cats, Grandpa. But we had a real honest-to-goodness adventure. Let me get a picture of my brave fellow adventurers. Uh, move right. A little more. So the bat family's in the shot, too. Smile big now. Oh. Oh. Kittens, look! We found an actual wall painting done by ancient cats long ago. How can I never have noticed it before? You never had anyone with you before that you wanted to take a picture of. Look at that. It's kind of like the ancient cats are trying to wave at us. Hi there! Wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats and their grandpa kept their eyes wide open that day in the cave, and by noticing every detail, they eventually found what they were looking for. Bo's Marvelous Play. One day, Bo invited the kittens and mustard to his house to watch a play he had written. I present a great spectacle! Beauty and the Marvelous Violin! Will this be a real play, like with actors and props? And scenery and everything? And music, too? It's got all those things and music, too. And guess what? I'm going to do everything and it will be really great. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <sighs> I really hope it will be super fun because I so get super sleepy after lunch. <sighs> I'm the prince of this faraway country and I have a marvelous violin whose music always makes people happy. Now where's that cardboard sword I made? Oops. <gasps> <laughs> oh, that violin doesn't make me happy! I am the wicked underground king and I hate that music so much! Oh no! Underground king wants to destroy my marvelous violin! I shall hide in the woods! Oh, sorry, it's tricky handling all this stuff on my own. I could help you with all the scenery and props if you want. It'd be much easier if I did. Mm-hmm. This sure is a scary forest. My whole tail is covered in goosebumps. Oh, huh? it isn't time for this music to be played yet. This scene is supposed to feel scary. That fun music didn't feel scary. Well, I could be in charge of turning the music on and off if it would help. Hmm. <laughs> the lovely damsel has been asleep for a hundred years. Ooh. But I will wake her up with my marvelous violin. Chop the violin in two! It will be silenced forever! No, Evil King, I will stop you! Prince, Evil King, don't argue! <laughs> You'll never beat me! We'll soon see! Ah! Uh, let's just all be friends, guys. Only if he promises not to touch my violin! No way, I hate music! Just wait for a second. I'm really confused right now. Who's the bad guy? Who's the good guy? Oh, boy, I wanted the play to be brilliant, and instead it's a disaster. I'm a terrible actor. You're a great actor, but you're playing too many parts at the same time. Yeah. Oh, I wish there were more of me. Then I could do everything myself. No, no, no. I know what we need to do. Cookie, would you play the role of the evil underground king? Oh, yes. I've always wanted a chance to try acting. Sleepy Mustard, huh? would you play the part of the Sleeping Beauty? A beauty? 
Yes, I can do that. <sighs> as well as sleeping for sure. Phew. and his company of kittens put on a marvelous show because everything is better when you do it with friends. The Sweet Truth One day, the kittens went with their parents to a festival where Daddy was going to display his delicious cookies. This spot is perfect. Apparently, whoever has made the tastiest treats wins a very special badge. Yeah, and I've prepared some super yummy cookies that are guaranteed to knock their socks off. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Is this one of the yummy cookies that's going to knock their socks off? You betcha, and I call it the magic cookie. Go ahead, try it. You'll see why. Mm. It's so great! <laughs> well, thank you. Do you see? It's magic because of what's inside. You kittens can go explore while we stay and get the booth set up. Just be careful to stay in the fairgrounds. As the kittens looked at the other booths, they started to feel a little nervous that the other treats looked yummier than Daddy's. Hmm? Hmm. Pretty good, but Dad's cookies are way yummier. But who'll notice these plain looking cookies with all these fancy pastries around? Pretzels, all flavors of pretzels. Pretzels with apple, apricots, or honey. Hot and so fresh. I mm -hmm. got it. We just need to tell everyone that Dad's cookies are delicious. Mm. The kittens wanted to help Daddy, so they made posters to advertise Daddy's yummy cookies. Great cookies, great cookies. Come and try some great cookies. Hi there. Hey, guys! You've got to try the cookies our dad made. Sure we will. But first, I've got to try some of those sugar butterflies because they're just so beautiful. And I want some star-shaped lollipops. And cream-filled pastries. They really look amazing, don't they? We better hurry before they're all gone. Hmm. They'll never make it to dad's cookies at all like this. I know how to get their attention. Hey! You guys want to experience something super awesome? Huh? Did, Did you, you say, say something, something super awesome? The magic cookie. Just one cookie is as amazing as flying in the sky. Just one of Daddy's cookies is as lovely as watching fireworks. Just one cookie is as exciting as riding a dolphin. <laughs> the magic cookie from Kitty Cats. Try one now. Oh, whoa. We want your cookies! Hey, my cookie isn't working. I'm still on the ground. I should be flying by now. Yes, and I can't see any fireworks at all. Where's the tiara I wished for? You promised us magic, but everything you said about these cookies was just a lie. Hmm. Did they believe my cookies were actually really magic? Well, we kind of said stuff just to get them interested. And they haven't even taken a bite to try them out. Yes, well, of course not. They were upset they didn't experience the miracles they were expecting. Hmm. Yeah, looks like we shouldn't have made up lies about your cookies being really magic. But your cookies look so ordinary on the outside. How can we explain how amazing they really are? I have a really good idea. We'll tell the truth about how extra yummy Dad's magic cookies are, but in an extraordinary way. They might look ordinary, but try a bite and you will learn that they're the very best cookies ever true. Don't pass them by. Come give them a try. You'll be impressed. These cookies are the Well, let's get this over with. Mm. 
These cookies are truly delicious. The best in show badge is yours. Every pastry shop in town ought to be selling your cookies. They're wonderful. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kittens worked out how to tell everyone the sweet truth about their daddy's wonderfully scrummy cookies. Treasures of Ancient Egypt. One day, Dad had picked Pudding up from school. Hey! Pudding, welcome home. How was school today? I have a homework project for the weekend. I have to prepare a report on ancient Egypt. How interesting! Nah, not really. How much is there to say about Egypt? There's pyramids and sand and that's all. <laughs> Don't forget the palm trees. <laughs> ancient Egypt is actually quite a fascinating subject. For one thing, the ancient Egyptians used to believe cats brought them good fortune. Really? And the pyramids contain precious treasures that are very difficult to find because it's easy to get lost in all the tunnels. Cool! Well, how about tomorrow we all take an expedition to ancient Egypt? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mm, somebody turn the alarm off. We don't have to get up for school today, it's the weekend. Wake up, kids! Did you forget we're exploring ancient Egypt today? Oh, <laughs> oh, mommy. mommy! You look really beautiful! <laughs> Thank you. In fact, the most beautiful woman in ancient Egypt was considered to be Queen Cleopatra. That picture is really funny. The head's sideways, but the body's front ways. That's because they had certain rules for drawing. Everyone had to obey the rules. Drawing differently was not allowed. Whoever was more important was drawn bigger in size. For example, a warrior was drawn bigger than a common Egyptian. And the most important and highest of all was the pharaoh, the king of Egypt. In fact, the pyramids were built for pharaohs in the first place. Inside of them, there are chambers full of treasure and mummies. And here's a map for you. Awesome! In ancient Egypt, they wrote in what is called hieroglyphics instead of words and letters. Oh, it's hieroglyphics, right? Yes, it's a kind of writing that uses pictures. Look for the good fortune hieroglyphs. They will show you the way. Awesome! <laughs> Come on, let's find the treasure right now! <laughs> right, Mom said we need to find the hieroglyph for good fortune. But what do they look like? Uh, how about like this? The ancient Egyptians thought that cats brought good fortune. Mommy said that, remember? I think I know how to find it. Let's follow these cat pictures on the map. Bet that's how we're supposed to find the treasure. <laughs> oh! Hooray! We finally found the treasures of the I can't wait to see it! Come on, huh? let's open it! Hold on, huh? who exactly is that lying in my huh? bed? Hmm? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hi, Grandpa! Why is your entire body covered with toilet paper? I'm not your grandfather! I'm a real live Egyptian mummy! <laughs> and I'm guarding the Pharaoh's treasure! <laughs> Run! <laughs> 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 Get up, dear Mummy Grandpa. <laughs> Our exciting exploration of ancient Egypt has come to a close. It was very fun and interesting. Now I'll have so much to say at report time. Thanks so much. But there's something you forgot. Don't my little Egyptologists want to find out what's inside the treasure chest? Oh. Yes, I carved those for you. Not of wood, ouch. So you'll remember that cats are lucky. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy, Daddy, and Grandpa spent the rest of the day pretending to be ancient Egyptians with the kittens who saw that any topic is interesting if you make learning fun. Playing in the dark. One night, 
Mommy and Daddy went out to dinner and left the kittens at home with Grandma. Grandma, will you play with us, please? I have to finish making your dinner before I can play, darlings. But you three just go ahead and I'll join in when I'm finished. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Whoa! The lights went out. <laughs> Did I clap too hard? Ah! Cookie pudding, what happened? I'm afraid of the dark. Why? What's there to be afraid of? But you were just blindfolded when we were playing, and that's the same thing as being in the dark. But wearing a blindfold isn't nearly as dark as real darkness. Kittens, where are you? Grandma! It looks like every single light in the house is out, but everything's going to be all right. We need to head down to the cellar to find some flashlights. But it's even darker down there. Maybe we can wait up here for the lights to come back on? But what if they stay off for a long time? We'll be fine down there, kittens, because we'll all be together the whole time. Well, all right. <laughs> Careful going down the steps, dears. Uh, Goodness, what's the matter, Candy? I'm frightened. It's even darker down there, you know. I'm not even a bit scared, and I'll tell you why. Because darkness is our friend. There are many beautiful things that we never see without it, like the lovely glimmer of this candlelight and the twinkling stars. These wonderful things can only be seen in the dark. The stars aren't up there. <gasps> oh, wow! Not to mention there's a great deal of fun to be had when you're playing in the dark, especially if you can get your paws on a flashlight. <laughs> Come and look at this, Candy. Look, it's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a mountain. Look, Cookie Mobile. <laughs> Whoa, I just got very hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. Goodness, kittens, I'm afraid I forgot to finish dinner and all the confusion. Let's try to root out something to eat down here. Something which doesn't need any cooking. I already found something awesome. Cookies. And I see apples over here. I've got carrots. Dinner uh -huh. is served. Huh? Oh, and look, the lights are back on as well. Oh, no. But we were having all that fun in the dark. And it wasn't really scary at all. Uh -huh. Hey, I just had a really good idea. See, now we can play in the dark again all we want. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Goodness, kittens, what's going on in here? Has the electricity gone out? Yeah! Oh. It did go out, but it's on again. We just have the lights out because the dark is fun. Why, Candy, you're not afraid of the dark anymore? That's just wonderful. Well done. Come over here, everyone, and enjoy our shadow show. And that's how Candy learned that darkness is really nothing to be afraid of. And playing in the dark can be a lot of fun. <laughs> Tennis with Dad. One day, Mommy was talking to someone on the phone. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, it sounds like a wonderful idea. When would you like to play? Okay, well, I'll see you then. <laughs> and what are you going to be playing, my darling? Well, you and I will be playing together. Doubles tennis. 
with Chase's mom and dad. Whoa! You mean you're going to play a tennis match? So awesome! Be wow! Be wow! Be wow! Be wow! But, Kitty, hold on. I'm not really the best tennis player. That's all right. I can pick up the slack for you. We'll play a few sets. Uh, only one set, all right? I've got things to take care of. All right, one set and that's all. Off to the gym. Have to be in great shape for tomorrow. Uh, we're going to lose no matter what, and it'll all be my fault. Hey, don't worry, Daddy. You've still got plenty of time to practice. That's right. We can help you, Daddy. The backyard was the perfect place to practice. The key to doubles tennis is to stay out of your partner's way and return the ball. Daddy, just pretend that all of these things are Mommy, and remember to keep away from them. This is Mom, then? <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, Kitty dear, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, pardon me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, oh, that was an accident. Oh, ah! Oh, hey! Oh, no, wait! Oh, 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 oh. Uh. What's wrong? Daddy hasn't hit a single tennis ball yet. He's not moving fast enough to get them. He'd be much faster if he wore a pair of roller skates. But I never figured out how to stop on roller skates. I get in Mommy's way even more like this. Uh, maybe you could just stand in one spot and wait for the ball to come to you. If you did that, you wouldn't get in Mom's way. <laughs> what if the ball never comes near him? Then it would be like Mommy was playing all by herself. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid is going to happen. When it comes to tennis, I'm the worst. <sighs> To cheer everyone up, Daddy offered the kitten some tea along with his signature cake. You may not be the world's greatest tennis player, Daddy, but you make the yummiest desserts ever. Right. Good-looking ones, too. Just look at that icing. Learning how to bake like this took quite a lot of practice. I had to learn the basics first, such as how to whip cream. I've got a really good idea. I know how we can teach Daddy tennis now. Oh. Uh... I thought we were finished with all that tennis stuff. Daddy, there's no need to worry. I promise you'll do awesome this time. <laughs> oh. In tennis, just like in anything else, it's best to start with the basics and eventually move on to bigger things. <laughs> <laughs> We might have won the set, but you guys played excellently. I was surprised. Yeah, you played so wonderfully, darling. Too bad you can't play longer. It'd be great to play some more sets. <laughs> we could play another ten sets. I'm absolutely free until tonight. Awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! <laughs> And that's how simple exercises helped Daddy to believe in himself. Because it always feels good to just try your very best. The Sock Puppet Saga. One day, Mommy brought up a big box from the basement. I win! Kittens! <laughs> hmm? Take a look. This box is full of your old toys. Hooray! I can't wait to play with all of them! <laughs> First, you have to look through all of these and then decide which toys you want to keep and which toys to give away. Once you're done with that, you can play with them. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> look at this! It's Cheeky, my old sock puppet! Hello! Mommy told us many stories about Cheeky, how Cheeky would eat all the sweets. 
And he sneaks and tugs on kittens' tails in the night. Cookie! We're trying to sort through toys here. Your stories really aren't helping. Hey, I'm helping out. Like, for example, I've decided Cheeky stays. Yep, yep. Uh, oh, oh, Cookie, that hurt. Stop. I'm not Cookie. I'm Cheeky. No, you're not. You're just my brother with a puppet. Oh, hey, Cookie, stop that. I'm Cheeky. Try and catch me if you can. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to catch Cheeky if we want to get our work done. <laughs> Sheriff Sweetie is ready to track Cheeky down. Detective Bowtie always gets his puppet. <laughs> Detective Bowtie and Sheriff Sweetie set out to find Cheeky. as always, and the detective and the sheriff were both chasing him. They were chasing very fast, so they didn't see the bull. Huh. Are you telling me that socks with buttons for eyes are to blame? Yeah! Uh. I didn't have any idea that sock puppets could do such things. Does that sound right to you, Kitten Mitten, my kitchen mitt puppet? It wasn't me, it was just Kitten Mitten doing it. La 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 bla. Um, sorry, Mommy. It was us who broke the bowl and made this mess. I guess it's probably better if we put Cheeky and the detectives away. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We should clean up the mess and stop blaming the sock puppets for what we did. When we're done cleaning, we can put on a puppet play. Now that is a wonderful idea, Candy. Kittens, it is really important that you take responsibility for what you do. And don't dump the blame onto someone else, especially an old sock. <laughs> the kittens finished cleaning up and found another use for their puppets. <laughs> <laughs> I think this wonderful show could use another character or two. Don't you, Kitten Mitten? My goodness, but you're a handsome cat. And Sir uh -huh. Goofy McBoot. <laughs> so awesome! <laughs> be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The kitty cats and their parents had a lot of fun performing their puppet play. <laughs>